Hello, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to add the, um, the logic or the functionality to our application. Thus far, it just looks it looks like how it's supposed to look, but it doesn't work. Let's take a look at it again. I'll press Ctrl Shift and then B. This is what it looks like. You move and then you come over here and then you come back. Okay, so what we're going to start off is add the clock module from Kiwi. I'm going to import clock. I'll say, I'll come up here and say, I'll say from kv.clock import clock like this. Okay. So once that is done, we're going to use this to um, schedule interval events, uh, schedule events that occur at, you know, intervals. I'm going to come over here in our main class. There is a function known as on start. This function exists. It's not a custom function like the go back function and the go forward function. This is part of the class. There's on start, there is on build. There are other functions that that sort of allows us to execute blocks of code at various stages of the application's life cycle. So there's this one here called on start. And when this function, we add what we want to do when the application starts. And what we want to do over here is schedule an event so i'll call this function it's called def on underscore start and this is self in here and what we want to do here is call our clock and then i'll say clock over here schedule interval this schedule interval is a function which we shall take a look at when we start diving into the documentation of kiwi interval it should be spelled schedule interval and then over here we pass the function that we want to schedule self.update the name of the function will be self.update and this is we pass zero over here right so that's the function we want to schedule and we want it to occur at this time we're passing zero here but often we will be passing values such as this 0 0.5 means call this function every half a second but that's why we just pass in zero for this application and um, we'll get deeper into this okay so we would schedule this function we just pass zero here we have to create a function called update and this function is going to be the function that updates the um the content the clock and the um the stopwatch content i'm going to create a flag over here to check whether our our stopwatch is started or not so over here in, in the main app i'll say sw underscore started sw for stopwatch and we're going to initialize it to false and then we're going to have stopwatch seconds we want to see the number of seconds we initialize this to zero and i'm going to create our updated function here our self dot update i'm going to come over here and call a function called def update and then this function we're going to pass self over here self everyone has self but the argument we're going to pass is called nap and what we're going to do is we're going to say if self dot stopwatch started if the stopwatch started if this is the case we want to increment you know the nap want to increment the seconds by the nap value so we can say self dot sw seconds plus equals nap like this right and once that is done we want to come here and say self dot root ids we looking for the um the clock screen clock underscore screen and then in the clock screen we're looking for the the time so in clock screen we're looking for the widget called time we have this let's go to clock screen the clock screen has just one widget and it's called time so we first come here using the idea of the clock screen and when we get here we're looking for this particular widget okay so ids dot time and then the text the text of this widget we want to change it we want to change it by setting this new text we're going to use the strft time function in python to get the um to get a current time 
so i'll do this and what i'm gonna do is i'll add a markup here as well the hours is going to be in bold i'll say bold over here for, i'll use b for bold and then percentage h this is the the sdrf time function often you write percentage h for hours percentage m for minutes and percentage s for seconds but we put in the markup so we're going to have to apply b over here for bold and then percentage m we want our minutes to be just the same and then percentage s like this and um this function st strf time we need to um we may need to import yeah we may need to import it from the time module so i'll say from time from time this belongs to python and you can read more about this function just by searching strf time on google you know but this is a core python module this comes with python so i'll say import strf time like this okay so we didn't finish writing that we did okay we did we did minutes seconds yeah next what we want to do we want to grab the seconds and minutes i'm going to come over here and say m s and i'm going to use the div mode function i'll say div mode over here and then i'll pass self dot sw seconds we want to um take the seconds value and then extract it into um minutes and seconds because the actual value it could be you can get minutes and seconds from the value um yeah i know you get what i mean if you have a value such as 70 of course 70 how many how many um seconds exist in 70 you have at least one second uh, you have at least one minute and then 10 seconds if 60 um, seconds make a minute so we say dev mode and then i'll say um sw dot seconds and then we pass 60 so this will extract it this will this will take this and then use 60 and then get us the divide and the modulo the remainder and the division so um for instance if we if sw seconds is 70 like i said and you pass 60 here minute there is one minute in 70 and there is 10 seconds in 70. 70 gives us one minute 10 seconds so the remainder is 10. the number or i don't know whether is the the dividend or the the quotient i don't remember the technical word for it but 60 enters into 70 once so we put it in the minute and then remainder 10 we put in the seconds so that is what we're doing here so yeah if you have a question about this you can leave it in the questions and answers area okay so once we've got this we can um say self i think i should put it up here we can say self dot root dot ids now we want to go to the stopwatch screen we say stopwatch the stopwatch screen we want to get a stopwatch id so we do ids stopwatch and then we want to get a text the text equals this and what we want to do is yeah now we put the content i'm gonna start off by saying so we're gonna do um percentage 2d and this is going to hold a minute and then colon percentage 2d this will hold the um, the seconds and then dot we we're gonna apply some markup here we're gonna set the size over here to 40 and then this would um this would hold the um the milliseconds we pass percentage 2d as well like this and then we close the um the markup like this once that is done okay we can bring the actual values here and the actual values are minute which is m we typecast that to int 
and then seconds and then seconds times 100 divided by or remainder 1000 like this right so once we've done this we would have this in the stopwatch the, the text of the stopwatch label okay so then this is what um, we have now we have to implement the start and stop button as well as the reset button we have the currently it's just start and stop we're printing this we start with the start and stop we start off by saying self dot root dot ids and then over here we want to access the stopwatch screen stopwatch screen over here we want to get the um we want to change the we want to toggle the text of the start and stop button when you click because if you're in start mode and you click it you want to stop the stopwatch and then change the text from start uh to the opposite so whatever mode you are you want to change the text to the um to the other one so over here we in the stopwatch screen we want to get the label um, we want to get a button so the button id we gave is um start and stop start stop and then the text of that and we're going to use if to do this start we the text is called start and then we say if self dot sw started else stop you see so that's what we're going to use to toggle the um the text so then we do self dot sw started over here equals not self dot sw started so we've got to invert it we've got to invert it like this and then um we can take away our our print statement and now reset reset we check if started you say if self sw started we want to do self dot root ids and we want to enter the stopwatch screen and then ids stopwatch or start stop sorry dot text so when we reset we want to set that text to start equals start like this okay and then we want to set started to false because we've just reset we have to click to start it so it's not started in reset self dot sw started equals false and then want to set seconds to zero as well self dot sw underscore seconds equals zero right